My name is Gary Parado. I'm the Chief Technology Officer at Exientia. We're an AI-driven uh, pharma tech company. I guess thinking about how I got into science, um, I was I was really inspired by my father. Actually, he was an engineer, and I remember just at a really young age, our house was just filled with little engineering projects, and that engendered a, a, an innate curiosity and a desire to find out how things worked, really. That led me to uh, a degree and a PhD in chemistry, and then I joined AstraZeneca, actually, about, gosh, I worked for AstraZeneca for 27 years um, as a chemist, and then leading drug projects, leading chemistry departments, and ultimately, um, leading uh, their global chemistry uh, network. I joined Exientia two and a half years ago. Um, I was just really fascinated about the world of biotech and, and also I've always had a, a real passion for technology and a belief that drug discovery can be done more effectively by the application of technology. Actually, the name is Latin, it means from knowledge, and that is really at the root of the company. The company is fundamentally about learning and about how you apply technology to drug discovery to accelerate learning. Um, in terms of core values, it's, a, it's actually a wonderful company to work for. Despite being a technology company, I think our, our core value is we put people first. And fundamentally, it's about having really brilliant people working together collaboratively to build things, to invent things, and to create new processes and new ways of working. Our mission is to change how the world invents medicines and we want to do that by encoding and automating drug discovery. And what we mean by that is encoding really means to teach or to learn and automate is all about how we speed up and increase reproducibility. So it's really about fusing together technology and science into what we call a pharmatech actually. We, we, we've used the word pharmatech to describe ourselves and what that means is it's a blend of pharmaceutical research, drug discovery, core drug discovery skills, laboratory skills, etc., blended with technology and using the latest technological advances. Pharmatech to us means blending deep drug discovery expertise with technology. So what Accent is all about is how we use technology to accelerate the discovery of medicines and the development of medicines. And so what we're doing is everything we're trying to do is founded in technology. Artificial intelligence is a key part of that. Um, I think I would say actually not everything we do is AI driven. We've built an extensive physics based method, but uh, methods we use molecular dynamics, we use um, quantum mechanics, for example, but uh, at the core of, uh, I guess, all of our platforms are, is AI. That's a great question. And I think for us, we have been looking to build an end-to-end -end drug discovery and development platform. So we're actually starting with target identification and you see lots of applications of artificial intelligence, knowledge graphs, etc., for how you identify targets. Obviously the core of the company is around drug discovery and we're working both in small molecule drug discovery and biologics drug discovery, building a complete um, digitized AI enabled drug design platform. We then move into biomarker identification, we've been using computer vision and um, analysis of individual patient samples so that we can derive biomarkers and then moving on into actually designing adaptive clinical trials and, and Bayesian methods in our, our clinical trial design. So I see um, technology and AI being applied all the way across the value chain in, in drug discovery. If you ask me how I think it's going to change, so uh, we are super proud at Exientia of um, having put six molecules now into clinical trials that are designed using artificial intelligence. I believe within the next 10 years, all molecules will have had AI used in their discovery. I think technology can have a absolutely pivotal role in changing drug discovery. I mean, we've, we've seen this. This is, I'm not saying anything particularly new or revolutionary. We see how technology has changed the whole world. And I think 
The pharmaceutical industry needs to really embrace technology, needs to embrace digitization of its processes. Automation is really critical. I mean, look around at this exhibition. There's an incredible wealth of different automation technologies. You know, I'm, I'm old enough to have been involved in drug discovery for quite a long time and I remember the first inventions of HTS screening and HTS robotics and you look at what people can do now with you know, collaborative robots and things like acoustic dispensing and all of the new technologies that are being applied. We are revolutionizing drug discovery with technology and automation of that I'm sure. So thinking about how um, AI can derive greater benefit for patients from medicines that we are developing. Uh, we, one of the things we're really, really excited about is our patient tissue platform that we've been developing at Exientia. So this is, a, this is a platform where we take individual patients' tumor cells and without transforming or transfecting those cells or changing them in any way, we're able to image them on a microtiter plate and using con computer vision methods that we've developed ourselves, we're able to understand the effects of drug molecules on those cells at an individual patient level, which means that you can stratify patients so that you can tailor the treatment precisely to the individual person. And you can also use it to develop biomarkers that uh, ensure that the medicine is going to work. And, and if we think about it, one of the greatest challenges in clinical development is how do you achieve maximum response rates for patients? And how do you avoid giving treatments to patients when they aren't going to work? And we believe this, this platform, particularly in the areas of oncology, is, has the potential to have tremendous benefit for patients. Um, I mean, Exientia is a, a fantastic example, actually, of a company that was spun out of Dundee University uh, probably 11 years ago. Obviously, Dundee University is one of the top life sciences universities in the UK. Uh, we moved to Oxford for proximity to uh, the Oxford ecosystem, uh, in part Oxford University, but also that, that whole biotech cluster in, in Oxford. We have, a, we have an office in Cambridge. Um, we also have an office in, uh, in Vienna and, and I think the, the European ecosystem is, is very vibrant. Science is fantastic in the UK and in Europe as a whole and I think, um, I think this, is, this is really, really important for us. I, I would add we do have an office in Miami and one in Boston and we think the US is also, also really, really important, obviously, that goes without saying. I think what can people do, I, it, for me it's, it's two things. One, it's about making investment and creating an environment, particularly now in relatively challenging economic conditions where new companies can thrive and startups can be created. But it's also about investing in education of young people. This is something I'm really passionate about. I think creating that flow of talent in Europe is really important and maintaining that really high level of uh, academic institutions that allow us to develop that talent is, is where I would be investing. We're super excited about our automation studio that I'm going to uh, talk about a little bit tomorrow, but really we're on the beginning of that journey and um, we've got a huge amount of focus on Making that, making that a success and how we derive maximum benefits from, us, from it. So I think over the next year or two, that's gonna be a key, a key focus for us. And, and of course, we have lots of other really exciting projects in the pipeline that I can't tell you about just yet.